we are back with another refresh desk reset desk refresh desk cleanup and i just kind of wanted to show you an overview of my room because somehow stuff still keeps exploding <laughs> And it's because of the fact that um, I get into the zone and I keep piling things out where they don't belong. I have some stuff here. We went to go to our taxes. That's here. And then this is stuff that I was planning on giving away or getting rid of. Things that I saw that I didn't need in my own sewing things. And then these are all old magazines that I didn't even have a chance to look through. Some are still in the plastic. And then my son got rid of some books. Here's a cookie jar that I want to put all my sewing notions in because that's what my mom did. And I like the idea. And I love that this tin is so huge. I want it to live up here. Eventually, I think I might get rid of that because that is broken. Actually, taking the string off of the spools that doesn't have very much left over would be a great idea to kind of lessen the bulk of that. I still need to clean this out. Still need to go through these boxes. And I want to form a plan. It's a, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. I still have yet to reset my cart. Um, I really do want to put stamps and dies in there as my main go-to, especially for my stamping stuff, because that's been kind of integral to what I've been doing with my memory planner. I have some packaging to get rid of. I have to find a place for this laptop. This is all remnants of the papers that I used for the Valentine's Day makes that I made for my niece. They got there safely. These are all vocabulary word flashcards that my son had, and he doesn't need them, and I can't bear to throw them away, so I want to use them up for something whether it just be to strengthen the backs of layouts or whatever i i don't want to throw them out these are also empties that i want to go through and then here were just a bunch of dies that i was ready to have next to my die cutting machine so that i can cut out things and then i was still in the middle of crafting the last few days for valentine's day to back the little hearts that i had sewn with sequins still need to reset this cart i figured that i don't use a lot of this this kind of stays in place. The only thing that I really use are the two glues that are set up on my desk. I finished that Mod Podge glue. I finished all of these glues that are down here also. And so I just need to clean those out because some of them have fine tip caps that I need to move on to different bottles or pour my glue into those new bottles after I wash out the glue. I have my two chairs here. This should be clear <laughs> because it's not my desk. However, the it, the boys also use it as a working or transitioning type of thing where they come and work here for a while or they have things that they need to print out and then they leave them there. So they need to find places for their things. I want to make this more usable. I have my sprays here, but they're too far. So I might end up moving some things around and then seeing what I can do. Maybe this will end up going there. I'm not quite sure yet. I would definitely like maybe a stadium um, holder for these bottles. Have it here on the top. Move this over to the left because I don't use this very often. If I need my ATGs, I can always get up and get them from the carousel, which is where they normally live. And um, the same goes for anything else on this carousel. That might be a thing. I need to reset my desk. I have a lot of stuff that I just kind of left. After I finished all of those Valentine's Day makes, desk unfortunately stayed like this, even at the risk of my cats getting to things. All of this fabulous ribbon and the twine and all of these little pieces of paper, all of that. I have scraps here and um, even die cuts that I didn't end up using. So I might end up making more for my niece and then just mailing them out so that she can have them ready for next Valentine's Day. I will have to reset this stadium organizer for what I want to do for the mid-February and on, so into March. And then I'm still place holding all of these stamps here because I do use the stamps and I've yet to transition these stamps into my cart. And then this big stack here that I have is my Valentine's Day gift from my husband. So um, I wanted to share that in a video. Whoever doesn't want to watch hauls, I can understand. I'm really getting into the whole junk journal thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to bear to cut into some of these. <laughs> so I might just hold them for a while and look through them because they're so beautiful. And I'll have a video of that pretty soon, probably sooner than my Tool Time Tuesday video. I still have other stuff that I use. I have a lot of empties from February, which makes me really happy. And then I'm going to have to take care of this situation up here. And then 
boxes started growing again and I've yet to put this in order into these cabinets. I want to go through some of these as well. I've looked through my stamps and I've realized that I don't use all of them. I do love most of them. And so I know that I have a giveaway in my future for that. I think I need to talk more into what we're going to do about ephemera especially for those cubbies there and then that little container there and i know that it doesn't seem much like much to take care of or tackle in the grand scheme of things but these are older things that's older stuff or accumulate as i accumulate them they're a little bit older i have new ephemera that's a whole box of new ephemera and so i really want to incorporate all of my older things so that i can use them in with my newer stuff so i like the idea a lot of this is dimensional or tiny stamps and i'm okay with that this is all just sticky note paper and that's going to stay like that. The thing that I'm focused on the most is the desk and then some of the drawers and this cart. But I don't know when we're going to get to them. For sure, going to get rid of this and I'll show you an after. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the current situation and then we're going to reset this desk again. And then I'll show you some of the mess here on the desk. I've managed to find a place for the laptop. Uh, since I have my sewing machine out, I'm going to go ahead and try and mend this bag here. I got it at archivers and this is a Teresa Collins style bag see and so I'm gonna try and fix it I have cleared a lot of stuff here on this island which is gonna make me really happy because then the room seems a lot less cluttered a lot a lot less chaotic so um, I have these layouts that I've made this is the last one that I made from the tool time Tuesday with Jeannie Linguini over on YouTube and she's got her own Facebook account and this was the inspiration for it the theme was templates and so I used the same word that I had as a stitching template and I made a different layout. So I have that video up if you guys are interested. I have old layouts, older layouts that I've made. And so these are going to go in page protectors and then I'm going to... Okay, my kids were warming up something and it almost smelled like it was burning. So I had to go and check. So this is a to-do. Um, I'm probably going to put this actually over here first. And that's what I'm going to take care of since my sewing machine... I hope this isn't a lot of moving for you guys. I'm sorry. My sewing machine is right here. I can hook it up real quick and try to fix that. I've managed to find something that I'm going to purge for my papers. Whoa, what? It's this. It's got some uh, Disney Paw Patrol type papers. I might make a layout or two before I get rid of it, but that was the intention when I bought it. And so I was trying to be realistic about what I'm going to purge. I didn't start all the way, but I knew right away that that's something that I know I was going to get rid of. Tangent. These books are going to be moved over to this bookcase that's on this side. I have two extra cubbies that my kids emptied out and I'm going to try and move some of those down here. So that area looks cha less chaotic up there. I might try and purge some books as well. I actually might make a space for that down there in the meanwhile. That way my husband can have his desk back or his work area because he likes to use this area. I'm going to put this. I should make a series called Memorabilia Mayhem. <laughs> Because y'all, that's the hardest thing for me, I think. I mean, aside from acquiring too much product, right? Another thing is I'm also kind of like a pack rat. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> And that's all memorabilia from this year or things that I've acquired around like in my kids' backpacks or artwork that they've given me. I'm going to do something with this. It's going to be on my desk because then that way I can tackle it. Then let's see here. There's my desk, y'all. I cleaned it out. That paper lives in the typewriter. This is just the, the thing that holds my cell phone. Okay, what else? This here. Let's continue on with this because we're almost done cleaning it off. I'm going to Clorox wipe it as soon as I'm done with this section of the video. I ended up finding a little cubby or space thing for my empties. I don't know if anybody's really interested in empties. Leave me a comment down below. This is, I know I have the stack of index cards and I think in the previous segment I had told you all what I was going to do. But I do have empties in here and I wanted to just kind of relay or touch base. If anybody's interested in finding out what I've used up for the month of January and this part of February we're up to the 16th now my big shot lives here and then I don't want it to live here but this is where I found that has been most convenient for me when I'm crafting I already cleaned off my desk like I said I even had time to label the rest of my inks that was really bothering me that I didn't have some of these labeled and so I took some time yesterday to label the 
six or eight ink pads that I had left to label. I use one of my Heidi Swap stamp sets. This is probably the stamp set that gets the most use because I love the size of, the, of that alpha. I've yet to use the grids as much as I want to. Um, I just need to sit down and practice the grid stamping with all the layering and all of the things that I love about Heidi Swap's technique. This recycling box that I kind of zhuzhed up with some wrapping paper from Hobby Lobby has work, been working really well. If I find that the trash can is too cumbersome around my feet, I move it over to this side and I really like it because it kind of wedges itself right between my cardstock and my side cabinet there. I moved my son's laptop over here and that way it's out of the way and not on my island. I like to keep that free and clear. I like to use my island actually for when, sorry for that, I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy. I love to use this white island right here, this island. I call it an island. <laughs> because I like to pull out my refrigerator bins and then use this as a way to a, like a landing spot so that I can see free and clear when I have especially when they're doubled up like this I pull it out and then I can look through my things like the alphas embellishments stencils more embellishment holiday embellishments holiday centric embellishments so i am down to the nitty-gritty i kind of organized this a bit more this pink basket this wasn't an intentional area for it i it just kind of grew on me i wanted this basket up further from the floor so i just moved this sideways and i ended up using it for old magazines for a future project i want to start jelly printing or like painting with acrylic and i figured those magazines would be a great start because i'm not investing in real paper and i can use them paint gesso on them and then just kind of practice or play around with paints and i've cleared up some of the cards i put them up on my card organizer down here i put my six by eight paper pads that were from valentine's day back where they belong i am still in the process of thinking about rearranging this i don't want to commit but i know that i have to because this is all mixed media this is all watercolors i have some extra sequins i know where those are gonna go I have some watercolor pens from vicky Bootens. some gold watercolors some nibs and I, I i'm not a professional but i like to practice or dabble i really love calligraphy here are some power pastels from jane davenport i've yet to use those i really want to try and get into the mixed media and so these are powdered pigments here we go here's some more watercolors more watercolors acrylic paint you get the idea anyway this needs to have a proper home i want to have these more accessible i need to rethink this whole situation on this side if this wasn't living here i would probably or end this on this side these boxes I'd have more space to organize better access to these drawers and I could probably make more use out of these drawers and that space. So maybe I can put all of these boards into the deeper drawers for these units. And I really like the size of the drawers. They pull out almost all the way out. They're pretty deep and um, I could fit. I'm pretty sure I could fit those punch boards. So that's food for thought. And that kind of gets the wheel going with that. This is still kind of a hot mess, but I'm okay with that right now. I have some projects that I want to start on, like uh, some layouts especially. And that's my one layout here that I've already started pulling for. So I think that's it. I think that's all I have right now for the update. Yeah, just trying to keep better track of my things. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this update. Let me know about the empties. Let me know about, what did I call it? Memorabilia mayhem. You know, I think that's what we'll call it. That's what we're going to call it, I think. Because, uh, friends, I have behind the box, the box of recycle bin and the trash can. That's a stack. That's a whole stack of boxes like this, probably as tall as that one, that are full of memorabilia. So, yeah, I think that might be interesting to see it. <laughs> to see it. <laughs> <laughs> look and see what we can do anyway thanks for watching and stay tuned i guess for the next segment to see where we finish this and or just have another reset why not i think these are kind of fun to watch see you in the next video have a great day guys bye